Vice presidential candidates, important though the job is, are not very well known to voters. The single debate, one each year, held between vice presidential candidates can go a long way toward helping voters decide which ticket they want to vote for. In 1988, George H.W. Bush chose as his vice president a very young, untested senator from Indiana, Dan Quayle. And when the boyish-looking Quayle appeared against his opponent, Lloyd Benson of the Democratic Party, Quayle compared himself to the Democratic nominee in 1960, John F. Kennedy, and Lloyd Benson was ready with a response. I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did when he sought the presidency. Senator, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. In 1976, the very first vice presidential debate was held between Bob Dole, a Republican, and Walter Mondale, a Democrat. In the course of the debate, Bob Dole made a controversial remark about the Democratic Party and 20th century wars. Very good issue, any more than the war in Vietnam would be, or World War II, or World War I. Of the war in Korea, all Democrat wars. All in 1992, H. Ross Perot, the Texas billionaire, mounted one of the most powerful and effective third party candidacies in modern American history. His choice for vice president, very unorthodox, was a Vietnam War hero, Admiral James Stockdale. Who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> Stockdale was an impressive and admirable figure. I'm not a politician, everybody knows that. A true so war hero, but he didn't necessarily look like someone who was ready to hold national political office. In 2008, Sarah Palin's handlers discovered that when Palin was rehearsing for the debates, she kept stumbling over her opponent's name and called Senator Joseph Biden Oh, Biden, confusing him with Obama. Governor Palin came up with an unorthodox solution to that at the very beginning of their debate. Nice to meet you. Hey, can I call you Joe? No election was ever won because of a vice presidential nominee, but some may have been lost because of them. The debates are the testing grounds in which vice presidential nominees have to prove that the person they're supporting at the top of the ticket made the right choice in selecting the person who's one heartbeat away from the nation's highest office.